Well, this has been an interesting day. It's Friday, September 27th. I uh, went to my interview this morning. I got hired on the spot. And now I'm leaving the place where I had to get a drug test done. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Waited over an hour to go pee in a cup. Which I needed to do anyway. Find my other glasses here. Um, yeah, so I'm filling out the paperwork. Actually, it is a full-time job five days a week so I'm gonna be making more money than I thought I would be I mean they're paying me the regular rate but I'm working more than what I thought I was gonna be working but you know that's okay I'm got nothing else to do you know I may as well make money so uh, I weighed myself today you know, I'm going to be nervous about going back over 200 now. <laughs> but I was down to 199.4. So it's a 0.4 from yesterday. 0.4 loss from yesterday. Takes my total uh, to 78.4. So it is uh, 1.30 almost in the afternoon. I did eat breakfast. I went home after my interview and had breakfast. And... Um, had some coffee because I hadn't had any <laughs> uh, and took the dog out because I didn't take her out before I left for my interview so now I'm gonna go home I'm gonna have my lunch and I'm gonna eat an early dinner tonight because I'm going to the football game meeting my brother at the football game I haven't seen him yet he came in yesterday and and uh, so my sister and I are meeting him up at the football game it's homecoming and so, you know, their class reunion is this weekend, so their whole class is going to the football game tonight. So that'll be fun to see everybody. Um, but I want to eat before I go. So that way I won't be tempted to eat while I'm there. Well, I don't have any money to eat on anyway, so. Anyway, uh, that's my plan today. Uh, I think I'm going to have a sandwich for lunch. So I am... Uh, gonna go home and like I said I'm gonna have lunch I haven't had any of my snacks yet today either I might save those and just take those to the game with me though so my microwave quit working yesterday so I let the uh, landlady know and I just got a text message from her that she put the new one on my porch so uh, so I was thinking to take popcorn again tonight but I thought, oh geez the microwave doesn't work the microwave got really really weird I mean it was starting all by itself one night last week I took the dog out and I came in and the microwave was going and I thought what is going on and uh, I same thing happened yesterday I I am um, uh, was just sitting on the couch watching TV and all of a sudden I hear the microwave running what the heck is going on here so anyway I, then I tried to go work it and it wouldn't work at all so it worked itself out anyway I got a new microwave so I go home and hook, hook that up and uh, change my clothes when I go to the football game I'm going to pick my sister, my sister up. I'll stop at the post office first, pick up my mail, go, the, go pick my sister up. Uh, I'm going to pick her up early though because I need to stop in at the funeral home and say goodbye to my friend whose funeral is tomorrow. I won't be able to go tomorrow because I'm helping help set up for a wedding tomorrow. But um, So I'm going to do that and then we'll go to the game. Friday. 
today is my youngest brother's birthday. My youngest brother passed away in 1996. He was two years younger than me. He died when he was 41 of cancer. So he today's his birthday and my grandmother's birthday. Of course, they've all, both passed on, but. wedding reception we you know we had our big wedding cake of course and then we had um, a little cake made that we put sparklers on and brought it out for my grandmother because I think she turned I want to say 85 the day after our wedding so so we surprised her with a cake at our wedding reception Adventures await. I'm telling you. I when I was talking to the guy at Walmart about the job and everything, he asked me why I wanted to come out of retirement, and I just said, you know, I sit in my house all day with my dog, and I miss interaction. I miss interacting with people. So I would. I kept seeing the sign that they were hiring at Walmart, and. One day after I saw the sign, I went home and I applied because I thought that would be it just get me out of the house at the time I wasn't thinking about a full-time job, but it'd get me out of the house, make a little extra money and, you know, lets me meet some people and, and at least talk to humans. So he thought that was a pretty good answer. And I told him, I said, I had never intended to retire as early as I did. If my husband had been sick, I'd still be teaching. But then I retired, and then, you know, the year after I retired, my license expired. And I would have had to go back to school to renew my license. I didn't want to do that. Um, first of all, I didn't have the money to do that. And uh, it was just more money to rack up on student loans, you know. So, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> I'm excited about um, being out in the workforce again, like I said, because it gives me a chance to talk to people. And uh, also, it looks like I'm going to be working the later shift, which is fine, because we talked about that too, if I preferred the morning shift or the mid shift or the later shift and the later shift never works past 10 o'clock at night and they go in I think he said at 1 or is it 4 maybe it's 4 to 10 or 3 I, I think it's an 8 hour shift so whatever that is but you know I said that's fine you know I don't really want to get up in the morning anymore and the later shift is just fine for me you know That's what I'm going to do. They said they scheduled three weeks out. I did tell them I was signed up to substitute teach. So they scheduled three weeks out. Um, I work five days a week, but it's not, it probably won't be five days in a row, you know. So it'll give me time to schedule a couple substitute teaching jobs. The thing of it is that at Walmart's pay rate, I'm making about what I would be making substitute teaching for a day. Maybe pick a little bit more. So... Yeah. My 
goal was to work enough to match what my pension is. I get a very, very small pension. And uh, like I told you yesterday, at least I think I told you this, I make enough money to pay my bills, my current bills. I just don't have any breathing room after that's all done. You know, after I after I pay what I need to pay every month and buy groceries, I don't have any breathing room. And I want breathing room, and plus I want to start saving money to get the headstones out of the cemetery. So, and I actually can order those and start making payments on them, but not until I know how much money I'm going to have coming in. Because anything extra that I make is going to, you know, will be put toward that. So, I have a plan. Just making sure that plan works. I don't know what all this means for my YouTube channel. Um, I'm going to keep it up. I may not be doing as many videos. I'm going to try to still do my daily vlog. Uh, and, and show you what I eat. Or at least tell you what I eat. But we'll just, I, I'm going to play it by ear. So I'm not going to stress myself out. Let me just say that. But, anyhow. It's like, okay, my life is changing again. But at least I think this time it's changing for the better. So. Alright, well let me show you what I've had to eat today and then I'll be back probably on my way to the football game to wrap things up. Alright, I'm having a late breakfast today. I have an egg wrap. This is an Olé um, tortilla wrap for one point. I have Inside I have one slice of Velveeta, the original, Velveeta original for one point. Uh, one egg and two egg whites with some onions and peppers. So my wrap is two. Zero points for my half cup of blueberries. And I have two points in my coffee for the fat-free half and half. So it is a four-point breakfast. For my lunch today, I'm just having a small sandwich and some veggies. So I have two slices of the Pepperidge Farm Very Thin Wheat Bread uh, for two points. It's one point per slice. Uh, two ounces or 56 grams of the Oscar Mayer deli oven roasted turkey for one point and I have one tablespoon of Miracle Whip light for one point so my sandwich is four points and my veggies are zero so it's a four point lunch this takes me to eight points today all right I'm having an afternoon snack I've got a cup of grapes for zero points one light cheese stick for one point seven almonds for one point so it's a two point snack my football friday dinner i have 120 grams of a pork chop this is a lean boneless pork chop um uh, four points for the pork chop zero points for the frank's hot sauce zero for my tomato and onion slices i have um a half a cup or two points worth of um red potato so that's two points and one point in the four grams of butter that I have on the potato. So four, five, six, seven points for dinner tonight. Okay, well, normally at this time I would be leaving to go to the football game, but it is pouring down rain. And we have decided not to go to the game. There's lightning in the area. I'm, I'll be surprised if they even get the games played tonight. It's a shame because it's homecoming, you know. I feel so bad to, you know, for the homecoming people. And it's sad. My brother is already at a restaurant drinking with his classmates. So I don't think I'm going to see him until Monday, actually, now. They have a lot of reunion activities going on. Um, so, uh, I'm going to wrap the video up now. I, right now I have, uh, 17 points. My son is at my place. 
waiting for me to get back. I'm on my way to the funeral home. Um, as I told you the other day, one of my friends died. So I'm going, the funeral is tomorrow. I'm not going to the funeral. It's a funeral mass, and plus I have to do a wedding setup tomorrow morning. So, um, but I wanted to go pay my respects. And then he wants to go out and get something to eat. Which, you know, I, I'm going to go with him. And I might eat something, I might not. Like I said, I'm sitting at 17 points right now. So... up with one blended banana is five points one and a half blended bananas is seven points so I mean I understand the science behind it oh. let me see if I can get you back up this car mount now Sandy you and I are fighting the same thing right now I think um I understand the science behind it but here's the thing if applesauce, which is nothing but blended apples, is zero points, then why isn't a banana? It's food for thought. Just saying. Unsweetened applesauce is zero points. Unsweetened applesauce is a blended banana, or blended apple. So then, if a, a banana is zero points, I think a blended banana should be also zero points. Just my thought. And I know there are a lot of people on Weight Watchers who do not count blended fruit. They still count it as zero. And I I think I'm inclined to agree with them. It all blends up in your stomach anyway. It blends up when you chew it. So if anybody can explain it to me, I'm more than willing to listen. was thinking about it is because I'm out of bananas so I can't make that nice cream tonight. I'll tell you what that pumpkin spice stuff that I made last night was really good. <laughs> but I used the last of my bananas to do it. So that might be my new treat. Anyway, so I'm going to let it go here. Uh, if you know the question, the answer to my question, then let me know. So in case, I, I don't know if I told you, I weighed in at 199.4 today. So it's 0.4 less than what I weighed yesterday. So I'm going to be working real hard now to get down into the next decade of numbers. Alright, well I really need to pay attention to the road, especially because it's raining. Such a yucky night out. So, you guys have a great Friday night. I hope it's better than my Friday night. Because I mean, the day has been good. I was good on plan all day. Uh, I'm a little worried about where I'm going to go tonight with my son, but I'll, I'll deal with that. I'll figure that out. And uh, like I said, if I go over a few points, I'm not going to worry about it. 
if uh, and, and then, now tomorrow is game day. I got one game coming on at noon, which is the Oklahoma Texas Tech game, and then the Ohio State play plays on ABC. They got the big night game tomorrow night on TV. So I'll be watching football tomorrow. Uh, I'm not going to be getting any tomatoes till probably Thursday, and then I'll start. Can I'll be canning tomatoes again next weekend. Anyway, that's my day. So good day on plan so far. I wish he would have told me before I cooked my dinner, you know, that he was planning to go out to eat. Because I had kind of a high point dinner for me. I mean, it was seven points. Anyway, I got nothing else, so <laughs> I'm going to let you go so I can pay attention to the road and I'm sure my phone's going to fall again, because I'm going to go to railroad tracks in a minute. So I'll see you guys tomorrow, I'll show you everything that I have to eat tomorrow. Well, that didn't go as planned. I went out with my son, I didn't need to eat again, but I did. Um, I had a bowl of soup and um, it was the chicken pozole soup. It was just chicken broth, some chicken chunks, chicken breast, and um, also some vegetables. But it had some sodium in it, so I'm going to count that cup as um, two points. And I had a salad. Um, that probably was four points because it had some cheese and some tortilla strips on it. So that would have taken me up to um, 22 points. And I did have some chips and salsa. So I'm going to count four points for the tortillas, the tortilla chips, um, which would make it 26 points for the day. So I did go over a little. It could have been worse. I didn't have any guacamole like I normally do. So, um, all in all, I guess it wasn't too bad. It just didn't go as as planned. I just, you know, I sit down in front of those chips and salsa, and that's all there is. So, I might have a game tomorrow morning. At least I don't weigh in officially until next week. But if I see that two no number tomorrow, I'm going to be really upset. <laughs> So, but I did have a nice time with my son, so that's priceless. All right, I'm going to it, let it go there, and I will uh, talk to you guys tomorrow. I will be more diligent about recording what I eat tomorrow.